Hey everyone, I'm back with another video and today we will be continuing on the subject of Bacon's being overloved. Now, this is a little bit of a personal experience, but feel free to drop your opinion in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get right into this. Now, I've touched on the subject of this before in one of my earlier videos, but got some comments that really inspired me to, to make a part two. Some good, some bad, but you should definitely check out the people who appear on screen and look at the video's comments to see some more. My first comment by some guy Arnia reads, I'm going to be completely honest in this comment. I do think bacon hairs are cute, but only the innocent ones that are actually clueless or just friendly because of their personality and the iconic look of the bacon hair. But I do not like bacons that are exploiters or simply mean. The exploiter ones are usually just faults, but the ones that are toxic usually do just use the default avatar or add on to it slightly. I don't see slenders or CNP often, but when I do, they seem either kind of neutral or just genuinely toxic. I do not remember many interactions with Slenders and CNP does. Avatar stereotypes are stupid, as are many if not all stereotypes can be true and most of the time. I still don't fully agree with them, because most of the time is all of the time, meaning someone could just be minding their business, but be pulled apart by a stereotype that they don't fit. Avatars are avatars, and people can express themselves how they want to. Part of the problem with this is that it was somewhat true in the past, but now people can't move the, from the past. Overall, I agree and disagree with you, but more so agree. Our next comment from Sol Helna reads, You're right, but I don't understand why people make stereotypes out of Roblox avatars. Can outfits just be outfits? And last but not least, we have Roxy Lucky 4074 With their comment reading, I agree with the opinion. I left one of my beloved games, Combat Warriors, because of them. I was first harassed by my style, then I was a target. I remember one evening, me and my sister were enjoying the game, and then a whole lot of gang of bacons pulled up on us. Nobody helped, they were even joining them. I've had neutral experiences with bacon, and some being nice, some being downright toxic, and some making fun of me and others' avatars. Also, same with Slenders and other avatars. They all have toxic groups and non-toxic groups. So this is very messed up. I don't think people should be stereotyped for their avatar style. For example, all Slenders should be stereotyped as mean and, to and toxic, and all Bacon should be stereotyped as kind and nice. Like someone in my comment section on one of my edits was just like, ew, Slender, ew. Like, do you think I appreciate that? Why do people have to be judged on how they look? It's literally just pixels on a screen. Okay. So now I have addressed this in my previous video. Bacons are overloved and it needs to stop. You should check that out for some backstory and some extra info. Anyway, there are these two main channels that make a lot of hate content directed towards bacons and noobs. And again, I might get absolutely chewed out in the comments for this, but I half agree with them. Sure, the name calling and everything is bad, but in reality, they have a point. Bacons are kind of a problem. All in all, Avatar stereotypes should not be a thing, and it's a problem that even you can help with. You can play a part in helping with cleaning this stuff up by just standing up for someone or even reposting this. If you do ever make a video on this subject, please tag me in it as I would be amazed to see what you do. Please be sure to like and subscribe and have a great day!